Here we're going to talk about how to determine the value of nitrogen within poultry litter sources, specifically within broiler litter. So we're going to look at the value of nitrogen in a traditional fertilizer source, or how much nitrogen costs in a traditional source such as urea. We're going to use that and the cost of that traditional source to determine the value of broiler litter, what the value of that nitrogen is. So we're going to compare broiler litter to urea. Urea is 4600. That means that 46% of that product is nitrogen. There's no phosphorus and no potassium. In East Texas, we price urea at $420 per ton. And one ton is 2,000 pounds. So if we have 2,000 pounds or one ton of urea, that's 46% nitrogen. We multiply that 2,000 pounds by that 46%. So 46% of that 2,000 pounds is 920 pounds of nitrogen within that ton of urea. If urea is $420 per ton and we have 920 pounds of nitrogen, we're going to divide that price by the pounds of nitrogen within that ton product. And we end up with the value of that nitrogen per the value of that nitrogen on a per pound basis is 46 cents. So each pound of nitrogen within that urea is worth 46 cents based on the fact that it's $420 per ton of that urea. So if we want to know the value of the nitrogen that's in broiler litter, on average, there's about 60 pounds of nitrogen per ton of broiler litter. And we take that 60 pounds of nitrogen and multiply it by the value of the nitrogen in urea, which was 46 pounds um, or 46 cents per pound of nitrogen. So the value of the nitrogen in a ton of broiler litter is $27.39. Okay, if we wanted to determine the value of the nitrogen found in layer litter, this number would change. On average, there's about 40 pounds of nitrogen in layer litter, and that would change. So we take the 40 pounds of nitrogen per ton of layer litter. Multiply that by 46 cents per pound of nitrogen. And our value would end up being $18.40. So we've been talking today about determining the potential value of poultry litter and the way we want to do that is get an estimate of what the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium content is per ton and then use traditional fertilizers to calculate a price per pound of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So we've just looked at how to do that with nitrogen. You would want to do the same thing for phosphorus and now we're going to look at how we would do that for potassium. So our traditional source of potassium is going to be 0060 and that's going to cost us $345 a ton and in that 0060 that tells us that 60 percent potassium or for every hundred pounds of potash we put out we would get 60 pounds of potassium. So if we want to calculate the value per pound of that we would just take the cost is 345 a ton so 2,000 pounds times 60% tells us there's 1,200 pounds of potassium per ton of 0060. If that ton cost us $345, we can take the $345 divided by our 1,200 pounds of potassium per ton, and that would tell us for each pound of potassium, it would cost us approximately 29 cents. Then if we go back and look at our average values for our broiler litter, on average broiler litter is going to contain roughly 50 pounds of potash, or excuse me, 50 pounds of potassium. So we could take our 50 pounds per ton of broiler litter, multiply it by our 20, 29 cents per pound that we found from our traditional fertilizer, and that tells us per ton of broiler litter we have roughly $14.50 worth of potassium. Now we need to realize this is an average value and so it's going to vary and so when you're looking at your calculations you may want to assume a number just a little lower than this. Oh, and the other thing, not only do you want to think about uh, the amount of 
potassium uh, per ton of broiler litter changing is this market price for potassium can change quite a bit. Uh, it's going to change throughout the year and over years. So kind of as reference, if we think back to 2008 when fertilizer prices spiked, this was over $800 a ton. And now it's $345 a ton. That would be the same thing for nitrogen and phosphorus as well. Um, the other thing we want to think about is you may not need all of that, especially phosphorus, in that poultry litter. So if you only need the nitrogen and the potassium, just figure the values for them. If you're in a situation where your soil phosphorus is low, then go ahead and add in the value of the phosphorus as well. And you would do that the same way we did it for nitrogen and potassium, but instead of using 0060, we would use 18460 to calculate the price per pound of phosphorus.